Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Pupil begs Luna to maintain a secret and Eric requests Zin to discover the source of Luna's transformation. On, Zin is asked by Eric in the Forester guest house whether he has encountered any new acquaintances. Zin believed this but he might have misinterpreted the circumstances. Nothing like this has ever happened to me. The following morning he experiences a flashback to his sexual encounter with Luna and the shocking scenario that ensued. He affirms to Eric you are entirely correct. I did meet someone extraordinary. However I see no way around it working out. Eric assures Zen he'll cease with the questions. He discloses that he had accompanied him to discuss an unrelated matter. When he was first ill and hiding his condition, he asked RJ and Luna to assist him with the collection. It wasn't his intention to exclude him. He has great respect for his talent and wishes to work with him too. Zin responds with a grin I would be honored. Eric affirms that he would be bestowed with the honor. He goes on about the youthful talent they have at Forrester, including Luna, who is smart and inspired. Eric orders Zin to get to know her. I want you to work with that young lady. Zin Eric BMB. At Forrester, Liam informs RJ that his dad has nothing but good things to say about Poppy. He's yet to meet her, however, and would like to hear RJ's take on her. RJ only has positive things to say about her. Liam brings up the whole free spirit thing in the manner she and Bill met years ago. He knows she came to LA to be with her daughter, but he's a protective son and his father gets targeted by women all the time. RJ protests that Poppy and Luna aren't like that. He can't even fathom Poppy doing anything to hurt anyone. In her apartment, Poppy cries that she's always so careful, but somehow, Luna wound up with her mints. Luna scoffs, except they're not just mints, mom. I lost touch with reality. Poppy concedes that they're not regular mints. She takes them to decompress, it's harmless. Luna disagrees. She can't believe she was sedated by her own mother. More, B and B's new familia. Poppy maintains that it was an accident. Luna hollers that they're not mints I was hallucinating. She questions how she even ended up with them. Poppy isn't sure. There must have been a mix-up before the festivities. Luna can't believe this, I was with another man. How could you do this, mom? How? Luna BMB. In the guest house, Zin informs Eric that Luna has a boyfriend. Working with her could pose big problems. Eric still desires him to be her mentor. He can teach her things that RJ never could. I think it would be really great for her, I really do. Eric reveals that he wants to concentrate on Donna and it might be a while before he gets behind the desk again. I want to keep Luna engaged and I want you to do that for me. Find out what motivates her, what turns her on, okay? I think that would really be beneficial for her. Zen nods resignedly. More, Luna's father reveal could connect her to. YNR? At Forrester, RJ tells Liam that he leased the beach house for privacy. He goes on to say that Poppy has been very supportive of Luna's career objectives. I really do think that Poppy would have been supportive of Luna in whatever she wanted to pursue. She's a really positive person. She and Luna have the same set of values and don't let situations that are out of control make them apprehensive. Luna's not as laid back as her mom, who is certainly a free spirit, but that doesn't mean she can't count on her. RJ Liam BMB At Poppy's apartment, Luna informs her mother that she heard RJ's voice and saw his face, but it turns out she didn't know where she was or who she was with. She saved herself for the perfect guy. I haven't been with anybody else before RJ. It was gorgeous and pure and now it's tainted. It's because of what Poppy did to her own daughter. Maybe Aunt Lee was right about you. With all of her talk of liberation, she's just irresponsible and selfish. She guesses Lee believes she's a druggie just like her. Poppy protests that Lee has never been equitable to her and doesn't know them. Luna hurls or maybe she knows exactly what you are, Mom. A druggie. In the Forester guest house, Zind is alone and takes up a sketch to work on. He can't focus and observes Luna's earring on the sofa. He flashes to her shrieking that she thought she was with RJ. He breathes and holds his head before placing the earring in a wooden box on the table. Zen Luna Earring BMB. In the main office, RJ takes up his phone and calls Luna. At Poppy's place, Luna notices that RJ is calling her. Her mother tells her not to answer, she's too distraught. Luna knows he's concerned about her. She answers and he asks if she's feeling better. She says not really. RJ hopes it wasn't food poisoning and offers to swing by. He missed being with her last night. She missed being with him too, more than he knows. 
Luna tells him it's not a good time to get together right now, so he invites her to swing by his place later. Luna croaks, yeah, I need to see you too. RJ thinks that sounds serious. Luna says it is extremely serious. She wants him to know how much she adores him and asks him not to forget that. More, why the Zen slash Luna twist is so problematic. After disconnecting, Luna argues with Poppy about her plan to inform RJ what happened. Poppy feels there's no need to tell him. You were in an altered state. It wasn't a betrayal. Luna argues that she slept with another male. How it happened doesn't matter. She knows she'll probably lose RJ. He and Zend are rivals, he will never tolerate this. She laments, I can't even blame him. Poppy pleads with her not to tell RJ. Luna scoffs, what kind of a mother are you? One night I'm tripping off of your narcotics and the next morning you're telling me to keep secrets from the man I love. Poppy believes she's in an emotional state. RJ doesn't need to know what happened last night. It was an accident. Please Luna I am begging you. Do not inform RJ. Poppy Luna BMB. More, what are Poppy's special mints and is the story realistic? Luna in disbelief, Poppy defends herself, Liam questions RJ. The bold and the beautiful recap for Thursday, February 15th, 2024, indicate that Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, is enraged that what happened to her was because of Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, and her mints. The bold and the beautiful recap highlights. RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, texts Luna but she still doesn't respond. Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, arrives and wants to speak to RJ about Poppy. Eric Forrester, John McCook, tells Zen Forrester, Delon Demetz, that he knows what it is like to be his age. BNB recap and spoilers Thursday, February 15th. Luna in disbelief, Poppy defends herself, Liam questions RJ. The bold and the beautiful recap. Zen Forrester's new assignment. Eric wishes to know if there is anyone new in Zen's life. Zen believes he read the situation wrong. Zen thinks about what transpired between him and Luna. Zen says he did meet someone special but it's not going to work out. Eric says he won't ask any more queries. Zen would speak to Eric if he talked to anyone. Eric informs Zen that he asked RJ and Luna to work with him. Eric wishes to work with Zen too. Eric is amazed by the youthful talent they have at Forrester. Eric desires Zen to work with Luna. Zen reminds Eric that Luna has a partner. Eric desires Zen to be Luna's mentor. Zen can teach Luna things that RJ couldn't. Eric believes Luna and Zen have a lot in common. Eric wants Zen to find out what turns Luna on. Zen discovers Luna's earring and puts it away. Zen thinks about that night again. BMB spoilers. Liam Spencer has questions about Poppy Nozawa. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Liam tells RJ that he should hear how Bill Spencer, Don Diamant, speaks about Poppy. Liam isn't trying to place RJ in a bad position. Liam finds it challenging to picture Bill and Poppy. Liam says he is portraying the role of protective son. Liam believes Poppy has targeted Bill. RJ defends Poppy to Liam. Liam queries if Poppy is why RJ needed some more space. RJ says Poppy has been very supportive of Luna. Also read, BMB spoilers, RJ Forrester has Zend arrested? RJ says Poppy is a positive person and sees the good in every situation. Luna and her parents have the same set of values. Luna isn't as relaxed back as her mom. Luna can depend on her parents. RJ takes up the phone and calls Luna again. Luna eventually answers although Poppy tells her not to. Luna isn't feeling much better but doesn't need RJ to come over. RJ says he neglected Luna last night and invites her to his place later. Luna needs to see RJ. Luna tells RJ how much she adores him. RJ tells Luna not to fret about last night.